my name is Katherine Shaw, and I'm an undergraduate biology student here at San Diego State University. And I'm really excited to share with you some awesome research being done in the lab of Dr. Ricardo Zayas. And he's studying stem cells and tissue regeneration. And we're talking about stem cells in the context of adults. So stem cells that exist to help to repair and replace different tissues. Humans, stem cells aren't super good at doing this, but the king of these adult stem cells are planarians. And they're these little flatworms that are really cute, about the size of a grain of rice. They have little eye spots and everything. And they are really good at this because you can cut them into different pieces, and each individual piece, this is crazy, will turn into an entire new worm and start swimming around again in a relatively short amount of time. And this is pretty insane, and it happens because there's a lot of stem cells all over their body. And this is, these stem cells are special because each one can turn into lots of different tissue types. So for example, muscle, brain, and gut. And this is different than in humans, and this is how planarians are able to do this better. So the first question that we're asking and why we're studying these is we want to know how do these cells know what they're supposed to turn into, you know? How do they know if you start off as just a tail that you're supposed to then grow a head? What keeps it from growing another tail? How is it able to grow an entire new brain and a nervous system in a short amount of time? That's pretty remarkable. And the answer to this question could possibly lead to new types of therapy for humans because our stem cells are signaled and told what to turn into by in similar ways, in you know, a lot of the same ways. So this can maybe help our stem cells work a little better. A second question is what happens when things go wrong? And the answer to that is disease. And by studying planarians and because they're so similar and how their stem cells work, we're able to learn a lot more about different diseases and what causes them, and a lot of them have to do with these stem cells not turning into the right thing. Um, so there's a lot to learn remarkably about these little worms, and if you want to know more, check out the website for Dr. Zayas, and the link is right below there. I want to thank you for watching, and hope you have a great rest of your day.